Hey, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We are out here at a RC crawling competition. This is the first one I've ever been to. Today we are running two courses. They have 10 gates and two bonus gates on each stage. So I actually just finished up running both stages. Today I brought out my Axial Capra, but I did change out my 2.2 inch wheels and 2.2 inch tires for 1.9s with the BFG crawlers. These are the uh, Proline Racing Predator Compound and then the 1.9 wheels. So it's a good time. We're gonna show a few other rigs and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna talk us through this as we go. Let's check out this crawling footage. All right, and here we are jumping right into stage two run. 10 gates, two bonus gates, so a total of 12 gates to run through stage two. Um, here I am, I'm actually dropping into the lower line to get this bonus gate. Um, it's really mossy, a little bit wet from the rain in the day before and uh, just not a ton of traction here. But uh, I do have a little bit longer wheelbase on my Capra. I was able to get a lucky bounce and got through it pretty quickly. So I think that was overall was worth it. These stages are timed. And uh, if in the event of a points tie, they go to the time for the runs to uh, see who gets the upper place. So actually I did end up tying with another competitor and uh, I did have a combined time that was a little bit less. So actually worked in my favor there. So there are a few times and a few things that I did to try and save time, which I'm really glad I did. It ended up uh, bumping me up one position. Ended up going upside down there. I tried to flip myself back over, but unfortunately wasn't able to do it. I do prefer to have my winch line up on that A-frame. Coming up through here. That was a really slick, steep climb. I didn't see anybody having any success on that one. And this is off camber, uphill, with a ledge so got a few things going against you again nice. a little bit of a mossy climb as i'm trying to come up right there my front end starts sliding over and i knew i was in trouble so i hug that left gate and my truck rotates around and my tire ends up right on top of that gate so i ended up killing it which is uh, unfortunate um did not get that one clean <laughs> now this little ravine there's a ton of mud and sand on the right side so I was trying to avoid that by trying to square up on this left side. I reset one time. I just, I don't see it getting the traction. So in an effort to save time, I just call for a winch. And uh, there we go, drove right up it. So that was a good line. It just didn't have the traction at the moment. And then this one, a really sharp angle on the bottom of the ledge. So this one's really a bump style obstacle. You gotta get a good bump to clear it. I almost had it there. There's a little ledge up at the top. I didn't touch that cone, I was still clean. And so I reset basically right back to where I first got on it. And I knew I wanted to bump about this angle. And I hesitated for just that second and touched a cone. So unfortunately, I did uh, lose that gate as well. This one, you can't see it. There's an underhang and this is a drop. So you gotta kind of jump off of it. Now we're just Trying to go fast between gates, keep it clean, but also not waste any time on the easy stuff. Zipping along. Not too hard of an obstacle on this gate. The gate did run pretty tight to my width, so I just wanted to make sure to crawl it, go nice and slow. Where am I going? Make sure I squeeze through. You can go down anywhere. There are a few options where to drop down. Again, an underhang, so it's kind of just a drop off. These gates were pretty forgiving on their width, so not too bad. Don't have to take a ton of time. Just want to be sure not to lose easy points, you know? Oh, it's down, dude. I got to try it. You could have gone left and squared up and gone uphill, but uh, I was confident in my side hilling abilities, so I just cut right. Can't see me. Yeah. I had to make sure to get the view I needed. I didn't want to run over a cone if I couldn't see it. One more gate coming downhill on this little notch. This is a fun little climb. This is a cool part. Nice and wide, pretty forgiving. But downhill is always a little tricky. Now here is the second bonus gate. This is an option line. And I had I had chased Talon on his run. He actually ran before me. And uh, I saw basically that this obstacle didn't look that challenging so i went ahead and went for the bonus gate which is good i mean throw in an easier bonus gate helps some people drop their scores back down
So I did get both bone skates on this trail. Now right here, the guy taking score, he'd watched everybody run this trail, and uh, he does give me some advice here. Get myself up into this position, and he tells me I need to winch. And because I know that he's watched everybody else flip, instead of flipping, I just take the winch and just get up this hill. I would rather do that and uh, take the advice from the guy who's seen everyone else mess it up. Now this is a fun little climb. It's super off camber. There's nothing down below you to save you. You come off this, you're gonna crash down to the ground. So you gotta go slow. You gotta get your tires just right. But also you belly up, so it's a little hard to keep your truck going where you want when uh, you're pivoting around on your skid plate. And there we go, get through gate 10 nice and clean with both bonus stages. Well, let's check out Talon's run. Now Talon ran before me. Um, as you can see here, he's up onto gate number two. He did skip the first bonus gate. So he's basically trying to square up to the, uh, his gate number three at this point. Now the winch stick was uh, off helping another competitor. So in, instead of a winch, basically this spotter here was just adding a little more traction to his tires. Which, fair enough, it was fun. This, See Talon trying that line that I did, but uh, ends up driving back into the wall on the right and uh, almost gets it there. That was pretty clean. Struggling here. I've, uh, ends up getting that gate. So you see, I, I had watched this, so when I came through, I kind of wanted to just save the time, take the winch, and get up the obstacle. One of the reasons I decided to do what I did there. Hey guys, watch out, he's coming through. Here we go, here's that obstacle, we gotta bump it. He is running a fully slammed shock, so his truck hops a lot more than mine does. Unfortunately, tags that gate, I did too, it happens. But uh, yeah, he's trying to get up this rock, and his truck is hopping too much. He goes full Wii Rock style on this one. There you can see that drop off. He backs down it, makes it look super easy. It is not easy to do. That was really clean. Way to go, Talon. Working his way up the rocks. Now in my stage one video, I show myself and Talon both running stage one. And uh, overall time, in real time, because I end up cutting a few spots out of Talon's run, um, he actually beat me by a minute and a half on stage one, so he's definitely a quicker driver than I am. For competition, that can be a very good thing. I need to work on that for myself. When I go out and drive by myself, I, I really like to go low and slow and really crawl stuff, but uh, in competitions, a little more hustle helps. Talon getting both those gates clean, making it look easy. Here we are dropping in. Nicely done. See how quick he made it through there? I, I took way longer than that. And here he is lining up for the bonus stage. A couple good sized ledges, a little bit of dirt mixed in there. And then one big ledge up at the top. Gotta watch that gate on the right. Started sliding in. There you go, gets the traction he needs. Nice and clean through the bonus stage. Zip around these bushes. Drop back down. <laughs> Throttle went through right there. <laughs> now this is a really tough spot. I don't know if anybody crawled this. So he's just trying to get squared up and it's tough enough. It's a great big wheelie, that was really awesome. Great save by Talon. And take a reset, basically, get squared back up on the obstacle. I think he's getting a little excited here. I think a little more slow speed crawling would have really helped. And ultimately, I think he calls for a winch in about the same position that I ended up calling a winch. Gets a rollover here, unfortunately. 
Is that the, that's the last gate? Yeah, that's it right there. You have to go up, around, around over. Yep, yeah, ended up taking the winch. So he got a rollover plus a winch. So sometimes it's best just to ask for help when you can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here's your rear steer. <laughs> ends up taking a reset on this one. Got to get that tire hooked on the top ledge and then skirt right around that cone. Doing a great job here. Crawling, getting the back end worked around. If only you had a flat. Now his has a lower ride height than mine does because mine has the springs on it. So his belly's up a little bit easier. Ends up taking the winch and clips the gate on gate 10. Well, hey guys, that's the end of stage two on this rock crawling competition. There were only two stages, so this is the end of this tiny little series that I had going on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you insight as to what a rock crawling competition is like for an RC crawler. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've never tried one and if you want to, or let me know some of your experiences if you have gone out to a rock crawling competition before. Um, I am going to link all of the parts for my build down below. They are affiliate links. If you end up purchasing anything through those links, they do end up supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate your guys' time. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.